Here's a book report on the 21 Blues. By William Penn, Penn the Boys. Something like that. We have William, these. By William Penn Du Bois. Du Bois. Okay, du Bois. Du Bois. This is a story about Mr. William Waterman Sherman. He was a teacher, but had grown tired of teaching and wanted to go on a year vacation in an air balloon. He had a huge balloon built and attached an epic wicker house to it instead of a basket. It had furniture and everything. On the seventh day, he spotted land. Wishing he hadn't spotted it, he wait watched dreadfully as a flock of seagulls approached the balloon. One of the seagulls punctured the balloon, and he went gliding to the island. When he got there, after throwing all of his supplies over, he even fell asleep. His, even naked. his clothes. He threw yeah, his he clothes threw his over. Yeah, he clothes off. I don't know why you would do that, because they don't even weigh that much. He even got rid of the basket. So he just, yeah, like, he tied the house off. A couple hours later, a man named Mr. F woke him up. Mr. F gave him some clothes and showed him around... Oh, I screwed up. And showed him around the island. He showed him the diamond mine. It had diamonds the size of boulders. They were up to his ankles. The land moved up and down violently. Mr. F showed Sherman the village. You wouldn't even know they lived on an island. Luckily, up by the village, the ground moved a lot less. There were 20 families there. Their names were the letters in order from A to T. The island, one day the island began to explode. The families had a plan. They ran and got on a platform with 20 balloons attached to it. Oh, just saying out the cuff of the, his hands, there was three big diamonds. It says beans, yeah, the, beans on like each sleeve. Beans. They floated all the way to India where all the families except the F family parachuted off. Nine days later, the F family parachuted off after helping Professor Sherman, and he crashed in the Atlantic Ocean. About 20 minutes later, a captain found him and took him back to San Francisco where he told his story. He wouldn't tell it to anyone except a conference. Even yeah. the people at the White House asked him. He wouldn't tell the president. He wouldn't tell the president, is it? It's a great book. I read it. It like, is. Four and almost four quarters or something. Three, maybe. And then mine's not as five. good. Do you want to hear it? Sure. Yes. Okay. The 21 Balloons by William Dubois. Wow. This book is about a person who goes on a vacation in balloons. He crashed on an island. The island shook all the time. And yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. All the time. And a and it blew up. They had 20 families, a 20 family getaway made of balloons and light wood. Each family had a family parachute. The f families, bleh, families flew to land except one of, one and the doctor. The last family and the doctor flew nine more days. They the family finally jumped off the do jumped off. The doctor crashed in the Atlantic Ocean in pitch the Atlantic Ocean. No, 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 no. And then a ship picked him up. Twenty minutes after he crashed. This is Doctor Shrinia's last story. <laughs> Thank you, and good night. So you like the book? Yes. Yes. You liked it too? Yes. That's all we did for school. We read the whole book. We finished at three, and we started at seven. Awesome. This is the book.
The 21 Balloons by William Pin Pin Dubois. Oh, and this this is not the machine. This is a ride. They had this humongous pole, and then that launches, and then they fly off the off the pole, and then they they land in the sea. They attach these. They fold the balloons. Then the railings that attach them, they uncome as sails. Then they sail back to the ocean. Then then they put it back, and it was made entirely by kids, no parents. The balloon? Yeah. Yeah, that. That's it's red. Cool. You <laughs> dropped it. Why'd you drop it? it? Out of my hand. No, I didn't. I didn't touch it. All right. I got a bigger book. Thank Ow! you, boys. Never mind. You're